hi you are welcome to another special video and in today's video we are going to learn how to create main folders and sub folders using microsoft excel and notepad application so let's jump right in and see how to perform this task i have a previous video on how to use excel and notepad to create main folders and this time around I want to show you how to create folders and also subfolders. Now I have a worksheet open and this is my worksheet and I have customers in my company and their contacts or their phone numbers. Now I want to create separate folders for these customers I have in my company. Therefore I don't want to go through the traditional way of creating folders by right clicking on desktop going to new choosing folder then typing a folder name for all these customers therefore i want to use this excel program in combination with the notepad application to create multiple folders and eight subfolders now that i have these names what i'm going to do is to select all these names right click and choose copy then select this cell right click and choose paste now i have these names in this cell then beside the first customer i'm going to type my formula for this operation then we copy the formula for the remaining customers so we type md which stands for make directory then bring your space bar you type your quotation mark then you type the name of the first customer then now that we want to create subfolders for this individual folders you bring your forward slash then you type the folder you want to have in this main folder then you close it with your quotation mark then you type a space bar because you want to have two separate subfolders within the main folder so we type another quotation mark then the name of the customer then you bring your forward slash then you type the name of the next subfolder within this main folder then you close the quotation mark then let's hit the enter key now that we have this formula for the first customer we don't need to type the formula for the remaining customer so what you do is you hold the control key and the letter e to copy the formula down or you can also go to your home tab and we have this option known as fill when you click on the drop down arrow we have flash fill and that is also going to generate the formula for the remaining customers you can also go to your data tab and in the data tab we have this option as flash fill you left click and you're going to have this formula effect for the remaining customers now that we have all this we select the cell that contain the formula for the first customer then we drag it down now we have all this selected then you right click and choose now we have copied this into our clipboard let's go to our file explorer because i want to create the folders in a particular location in my file explorer so i have it open on my tags bar and this is where i want to have my folders being located so what you do next is you right click in this window and you have this menu you move to new and in this side menu we are going to choose test document and that is the notepad test document and this is the default name you have and i'm going to change the default name of this current name then you hit the enter key now let's open this test document so you can select and click on this open or you can right click and choose open from this option you can also double click to open now that we have this notepad open you can right click and choose paste you can also click on the edit tab and choose paste and the last option is to use your keyboard shortcuts control plus v on the keyboard 
Now we have all this in this notepad window. Let's click on file and choose. And in the file explorer window, we have the file name as Jonas. Let's maintain it. And we are going to add another description to this by typing dot cmd which cmd stands for command prompt so we are going to use our command prompt feature to perform this then we click on save and let's close this window now in this location we have the notepad file here and this is the command prompt file that we have created now to execute this we just select and double click and this is going to create all these folders we copied from the Excel window. Therefore, if I double click on any of these folders, I'm going to have these subfolders. And as you can see, we have these subfolders. When I open this, we have these subfolders. So this is very simple to perform. So you have a lot of folders you want to create and you have all these names in your Excel workbook you can just copy and use this simple formula to execute such operation so i have an end screen video on the previous video on how to create multiple folders using the excel program and also the notepad application click on it to watch and see how it works and see you in the next video